Okay, Ron to the Clown back with part two of Captain America. Now, to make his head, what you're going to do is take your blush balloon. You don't need to blow it up very much. This is going to use a small part of it. But you make an ear twist. This is actually going to be an ear. Then you make a bubble about, oh, three to four inches long. Then another ear twist the same size for the other ear. Now, you take your blue 260 and tie it into one of the ears, and you're going to make a bubble the same length as the, as the blush bubble, and you're going to tie this into the other ear. This is going to be the back of his, this is going to be like his, his chin and where his mouth goes, and then this is going to be the back of his head. Now, you won't need the rest of the 260 except a little tiny piece of it later on. Tie off your plus 260. And then what you're going to do is you're going to go back and forth between the ears with the blue 260. And then you're going to go one more time across the top. And that'll be the top of his head. Where it looks like something like that. Now, you're going to use the rest of this 260 blue for part of his neck. But first, what you want to do is you want to take your blush 260 and you want to squeeze the air all the way to the end and make yourself a little tiny bubble. Not very big at all. Then, get rid of the rest of the blue and tie it off. This is going to be his nose, just like that. You're going to take and stick the nose in between that top part of that blue and the blush, and you're going to grab the end of the blue or the blush 260 and pull it out through the model bottom like that. Like I say, that's going to be his nose. Then with the rest of the blue 260, you're going to make a small bubble, about an inch or so long, and then a small ear twist. And what you're going to do is you're going to take the blush, the stringy part of that blush, to the end, and just wrap it around that uh, ear twist. And then you're going to shove that one bubble of ear twist in between his chin and the back of his head. And this is going to form his neck, just like that. It's going to be his neck. And then all you do is you get rid of the rest of the loose 260. You make a little tiny bubble for his neck. And then I'm going to make a little tiny bubble to push in the middle of his shoulder. Take, get rid of the rest of your blue, tie that off. And where you twist it at, even if you let it go, you know where that little bubble is. It's, it's soft enough you can make that little bubble again. Now the, the little wings that come out of his, uh, his head, you're going to need a white 160. And you're just going to make a small bubble, just about an inch long, a small ear twist, and then another bubble about the same size, a little bit longer. And then you get rid of the rest of the balloon, but save it and tie it off. So you can use it for the other side. Tie it off. Cut off your little trees. Little ends. And just wrap that around his ear. To where it's sticking up kind of like, like that. Do the same thing with your leftover 160. Make a small bubble about an inch long. A small ear twist. And then another small bubble. This time, you can get rid of the rest of the balloon. You don't need any more of it. Tie it off. And then you've got the other side to tie into this other ear. Get everything situated and look just like that. Now, for the artwork on his head before we attach it, 
what we're going to do is on the top of his forehead, he has a large A block A. and look something like that. Then I also take my white paint pen and I draw his eyes and his eyebrows and then I'll take a black paint pen <clears throat> and make his mouth. What I like to do is give him part of a small part of a frown, a little cleft for the chin, and then Once the white paint pen dries, draw in his pupil, and that's his eye. Now, remember on his body, we had this one little stringy piece. What I do is I take, make that little bubble again at the bottom of his neck, take and tie this around that little bubble and then just push it in so not only is it tied there but the bubble is also holding it inside the chest area and that's Captain America and that's fine you can end with right there but then you want to make his shield okay now we're going to make Captain America's shield what you'll need is two 160s, one red, one white, and you'll need a scrap of blue 260. Now, blow up your, your 260 to the very end. I'm just going to need the end of the, the balloon to be the center of his shield. Just get rid of the rest of the balloon. tie it off, and then leave, when you cut it, leave just a little bit of a string, because you're going to need this to tie to his hand. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to take the white 160, and we're going to wrap it around the blue one to measure it. Now, this is going to pop out, the blue one, until we get it tied in. What we're going to do is we're going to measure this around really tight. We lost our ear twist. Measure it so it's really tight, and then wrap it around that ear twist. So it looks like that. Now, you can get rid of the rest of your white 160. Now we're going to do the same thing with the red 160. What you're going to do is you're going to tie that around. your ear twist of your one sixty and then you're going to take and wrap it around as tight as you can and then wrap it once again around now that blue one's coming out that's fine we'll put that in there later then what you're going to do is you're going to take a, a make a small ear twist with the red one sixty get rid of the rest of the blue Tie it off. Also, go ahead and take your, your 160s, your, your twists, and wrap them around each other. Now you can take your, your 260, push it through, that little tail in there. And what you're going to do is you're going to take and wrap them around the 160 ear twist that so looks kind of like that. Now, I have not figured out a more perfect um, shield to make, so if you have any ideas, you know, let me know. Now, the artwork, all you do 
is you take your white paint pen and you're going to want to make a small scar on a shield that looks just like that. I know it feels bigger with, with more, more clothes around there. Then all you got to do is just take and wrap and push the, uh, that piece of blue through his hand, and now you have his shield. Well, this is Captain America. I want to thank you for watching, and make sure, make sure you uh, subscribe, rate, and comment my channel and my videos. And once again, thanks for watching.